What's up, YouTube? It's Leviathan, and we are back with another reaction. Today, we are starting something new. We are going to start Eden's Zero. Now, this is another uh, manga or whatever made by Hiro Mashima, the, the guy who brought you Rave Master and more recently Fairy Tale. So, um, you know what? I actually liked Rave Master growing up. Rave Master was a really good show growing up. Um, it ended kind of abruptly in a way that didn't actually finish, so you had to kind of finish it off on the manga and stuff like that. At least Fairy Tail actually finished with the anime and stuff like that, so that's a pretty big accomplishment with that. It was an overall solid show, it's just it felt like it was always uh, missing a bigger overall enemy, you know, there, was, it, there wasn't a lot making me care about the world itself. And the characters earlier in the show for sure fairy tale earlier like there were there was a lot of like moments and stuff like that that really got me um into the whole zero thing and aclonogia and all that other stuff is just they didn't end it in a proper way so eh, well whatever it's still not completed there's still that whole hundred year quest thing so but w w let's forget about fairy tale for now we're watching eden zero which is supposedly something completely different but it looks like the same type of characters from Fairy Tale, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, we're going to get started with Eden Zero. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications to see when I upload next and all the other uploads that I have coming soon. And don't forget to check out the Patreon down below. The link's there for full uncut reactions of this show, Eden Zero, and many, many more. Um, without further ado, we're just going to get started with this one. Let's go. あ、星が動いてる。あれはな、ドラゴンじゃ。ドラゴン。あれは水星かと思います。え?騙されたな、シキ。なんだよ。嘘はダメだって。ジキ。ケイズネームシキ、アイガス。嘘かどうかわかん
I think this guy's lived it. <laughs> so this guy grew up with the robots then. I guess. <laughs> I love it, yo. The main character's for murder. <laughs> <笑>俺と友達に。俺と友達に。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ
Ram Bell's auto repair system. What? What? So he doesn't actually have skills? <laughs> Why does his body look so badass? It doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't look like his head fits with his body at all. Oh, you did have a ship. It's like you had no way to leave. <laughs> no, they don't think that. They don't think that. None of them think that. None of them think that. They were definitely dancing. This is actually a pretty dark first episode. This is way better than Fairy Tales first episode. Orton Rave Masters first episode. Alright, alright. What is this now? What the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? Since his name is Eden, I'm guessing the ability is Eden. Oh damn, Rebecca was shedding tears for him. Oh. Very, very, very obvious anime tropes here. My name is Suki. What is that? What is his powers? His body, ether flow, and we can figure that to give him power. Dark Ages, oh crap. The quality of the animation is pretty good though too. It's not bad. Crazy. <laughs> I can't take this I can't take this Lucy rip off seriously man. Oh she doesn't have blonde hair, she has brown hair. Is he flying though? That's cool though, he can kinda just like move through planes and the power that he gets from it. There's definitely something wrong with them, man. So that's what we're just gonna leave the story like that. I'm pretty sure Michael wasn't bad like that. It's a ship, alright, but not a <laughs> freaking ship on the water. It's a spaceship. <laughs> I think I I got that. It wasn't a surprise for me. <laughs> this reminds me of Kingdom Hearts, not gonna lie, Loki. If there's like worlds or something out there. This show's pretty cool, I'm not even gonna lie. It's got like a fantastic approach fantastical approach to it, but it has like the type of fighting that could be really really good. A comet. A dragon. Oh no, it's a dragon! <laughs> It's actually a dragon! <laughs> Amazing! There's definitely some good stories about his birth, I, I guarantee. Oh no, he wasn't actually being evil. And Michael wasn't being e evil either. Guess he's got a destiny that he's gotta fulfill. I thought Michael was gonna be a part of the show. <laughs> he just seemed like a character. All bots on planet Grand Baha see all functions. Is, is there a weird thing that that says E N D 
as an ethereal not to drag Neil. I hate this guy so much. I don't know why he does this. I don't know why he does this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be missed, Michael. You'll be missed. You were the best freaking robot a boy could ask for, man. Can <laughs> I break the window? As a demon king. Oh, that's that's some good that's some good stuff. Okay, so <clears throat> that was just Eden Zero's episode one. <sighs> you know what? I was being a little bit abrasive. I'm like, yo, Masashi Kishimoto. No, sorry, not. <laughs> That's Naruto, sorry. Hiro Ma Masami or whatever. Masima or whatever. The guy who made Fairy Tale. Um, I was a little bit judgmental about this. Um, I thought it was like another, you know, what what I feel like was missing with a lot of, um, I guess, the animes that he created before was a lack of a real uh, destiny for the character, you know what I mean? Or, or a destiny type thing for a character. Because these are considered like shonen shonen show so they should have that same old trope of like somebody being a hero or somebody being part of something that's destined i guess you can say not always but it's like something that should always be there that they're a little bit better than everybody else essentially and that's how it's supposed to be fairy tale always felt like everybody was on the same um level so it just didn't seem like it was um too much of that kind of uh thing but Forget all that, Eden Zero Episode 1, really great show. We got introduced to the planets and the cosmos, the Sakura cosmos. There's probably more cosmoses out there. Um, it's a world of planets, so it looks pretty uh, magical, I'm not going to lie. It gives me a lot of Kingdom Hearts vibes <laughs> and the whole Disney World thing. But um, it was pretty cool seeing the bots planet. You got to meet Shiki, you got to meet Rebecca, you got to meet Happy for the second time in, in your life. <laughs> and he's a and he's a completely different character now, but <laughs> anyway, forget all that uh, noise. Um, we get through all of that stuff, and then we get to I guess with the robots being all haywire and stuff like that, and then they um kind of just push Shiki out into the world. Now, the one thing I did like was the fact that it was two different sides to the destiny. We usually see one path where it's like, will he become a hero that we he's destined to be, or and this time it's like. Either he becomes the hero or he becomes the villain. And that's the kind of thing I want to see because we're going to be dealing with, I guess we're going to be dealing with a lot of morality type of situations where Shiki's probably going to have to deal with things in a very um, ethical way where he has to really think like, is this the right thing to do? Like, should I destroy this whole planet to save one person, which is Rebecca? And I'm telling you, that's a plot point that's going to happen soon. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to end this video off of here. It's been great. Thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me. It's been awesome. I've been loved doing these reactions. It's been really enjoyable. Um, we're going to see what, what's going to happen later on. Um, Eden Zero, I'm going to try to push these reactions out pretty frequently. Um, just depending on how my interest with it, it's probably going to grow a lot. But with that all said, um, don't forget to check out the Patreon link for the full uncut reaction of this specific... Uh, What's it called? Show. And I will see you guys around. Peace out. Have a great day, guys.